back to code tonight so in today's video we will see how we can implement razor pay payment gateway in asp.net web mvc so um, we have this uh, mvc project over here and uh, we will see how we can integrate the razor pay payment gateway here so the first thing that you have to do is you have to go to manage nugget packages and there first of all we will install and the nugget package for razor pay Uh, so uh, here you can click on the browse button and you can search razor pay so uh, this is the package that you have to install and you can install the 3.00 version here and uh, once you done installing the package over here then we will see how we can use that in the controller so the first thing that you will need is a razor pay account so you have to sign up on razor pay and after you log in you can go to settings here and in the settings you will see api key so uh, here you can uh, generate your api key so by default you will not see any record here but you can click on generate api key and then you will get one api key so uh, you have to uh, copy both the client secret and the uh, client key and uh, copy those on your notepad so we will use those uh, in the code so on the two things that you will copy we will keep those in the web config so i will just show you over here so uh, i have added these two key over here one is key and the other is secret okay so now we will go to the controller uh, so in the controller part i will just run it first so you can actually check the ui how it is working so the first method is index method so uh, it is basically a a simple view so nothing much over there but uh, i have added one text box there uh, to capture the amount for which you want to accept the payment so uh, this is the page that you will see so here you can see i have added one uh, text box over here and a pay now button now i can enter any amount so i will enter some random amount like 33 over here and once i will click on the pay now button it will get to the initiate payment method over here so i will click on that so you can see that we have got the amount amount 33 over here so now we are getting the razor pay key and secret from the app setting and web config file so now we are using razor pay client now for this you have to first inst to install the package and then you will be able to use uh, using razor pay dot api over here and then you can use razor pay client over here okay so we will pass key and secret to this so uh, i will also provide you the code so uh, we will share the link for the code so uh, here we are adding two things one is the amount so uh, once you enter any amount for converting that to usd uh, we have to multiply that to 100 okay so uh, we are getting the amount here in the dictionary and the currency is usd now uh, we are creating a order over here with those two options okay now once you create the order uh, it will return back the order id so it will return back the order id over here now we will go to the razor pay dashboard and we will see the first step completed here so in the orders tab over here so you can click on transactions and you can go to orders over here so you will see that this 33 dollar amount is created okay but it is not paid yet so now we will return this uh, order id in the view bag and we will use that uh, on the new view so we have created one more view over here so this is the payment view and here what we have done is we have captured the order id uh, that we have got from the controller so this is the order id and here we have written some javascript code uh, for the next operation to open the pop up to accept the payment okay so i will just continue the code over here so 
you can see this checkout with razor pay button i have taken this uh, here checkout with razor pay so on click of this button we have fired one uh, method so this is on click method that will fire and it will open the razor pay pop up okay so we will click on that and now you will see a pop up okay so here you can click on the card and these details this code tonight and logo and everything these i have passed uh, in the js so you can change the things from here so you can see that we have passed the name and some details that you can see on the screen i have passed here so you can modify the details and uh, use your details so here we have to enter the card number so i will also provide you a test card number so we will just copy this for now uh, and expiry date can be anything in the future so we will add 0125 and in the cvv you can put any random three number code so we you can see the amount 33 over here which we entered in the first step so we will click on pay now now it is asking to save the details but we don't want to save the details so we will click on pay without saving card so now uh, it will be a bank page so because it is a uh, sandbox apk so we will have to success or failure this by clicking the buttons but uh, when you will use it on live then it will be automatic okay so we will click on success so um, once the api is success what it will do is we will see here so once it will be success it will um, get here it will return back the payment id from the pop-up and uh, signature from the pop-up so we will add this in the hidden fields uh, we have taken above so these are the hidden fields so we will be set setting the value in these and then we are uh, posting the form on this method home slash payment so now we will add a breakpoint here also so here we have added the breakpoint and now we'll click on success so you can see that we have got the payment id from the razor pay and order id and razor pay signature so what we have to actually do here is we can actually verify that the order is correct or not by verifying the signature so we can use verify payment signature method so now here if the data is correct then it will work fine but if there is some issue with the data here then it will go to the exception so we will in that case we can say that payment is not correct or it is failed okay so if it works correct then it means that payment is successful so now we will go to payment success view where we just have written payment successful so you can modify the things as per your requirement but now we will go to razor pay ui so on the razor pay ui uh, earlier we seen this order created and by created status but now if you will refresh the page here so once we refresh the page we will see that the uh, status is paid now so payment is done over here and in the payment section also you can actually check that the new payment is uh, captured over here so and this is how you can integrate uh, razor pay in your asp.net mvc application now if you need the code then what you can do is you can go to our official website contourine.com so uh, here you can look for razor pay so we will also provide you a direct link but uh, you can check it out implement razor pay payment gateway in asp route and mvc so in this you will be able to find all the code that i just showed you in the video and with all the steps that we just seen so uh, if you have any kind of issue then you can comment on the video and you can also download the code from here so thanks for watching guys and don't forget to follow us on facebook and on reddit thank you